How to Write Content for Your Website New interesting website content has multiple benefits. It helps with your placement in the search engines, it keeps your company in front of prospective customers, and it provides you with the opportunity to think about your company and its customers in a whole new way. Engaging with visitors and customers can build a relationship that is stronger than having the lowest price for a product or having a competitor's advertising budget. Make your content quickly understandable as many people scan a web page prior to making the decision to read the text on it. To make your text easy to follow, try these ideas. Use lists, as in 15 healthy grilled chicken recipes. Use bold italics and capital letters to make it easy to see the article's major points. Insert pictures wherever possible, as this will help break up long lines of text and add a visual counterpoint. Keep to one strong idea per article. Get to the point and have subheaders throughout the text to help explain important aspects of the article. When creating article titles, make sure that you use smart, exciting titles and get rid of dumb, boring ones. Remember to add numbers to your titles whenever possible. Adding a number adds a promise, as in the seven best, 12 ways to, or five reasons to buy. Also, try asking a question like, is camouflage really acceptable at weddings? Try to use as many business-related keyword phrases as possible for the search engines, as well as to let people know what the article is about. Don't go crazy by stuffing your article full of keywords. Only use them when they are actually helpful. A sentence in an article about flights to France would be highly suspicious to the search engines if it contains sentences like, flights to France are great. Everyone should take a flight to France before prices for flights to France go up. Also try being a bit mysterious in your article titles. Make it so the reader has to read the article to get the answers they were looking for when they came to your site. An article title like, is it really true what they're saying about Bobby, can cause more people to want to see what the heck is going on with Bobby so they will want to come back and read your article. Try keeping your articles to a minimum of 250 words. Anything left will leave your visitors flat as they may be looking for more than an introductory statement. Also, an article of a thousand words or more may be best when broken up into two different parts such as Muscle Pain Relief Part 1 and Muscle Pain Relief Part 2. You may ultimately feel constrained by these word limitations. Don't be. If you have something that requires more content to cover adequately, consider doing a series of articles. This can engage people to come back to your site and could eventually be turned into a free or paid product for your business. You may want to do a 25 tips to look for when shopping for, insert your product here, and make the articles run five tips a week for five weeks. Then at the end of the article run, you can turn the entire series into a giveaway for everyone who signs up for your email list from that day forward. If you can, post on a regular basis. This will get people to expect your posts and gives you the opportunity to have something to distribute through social media and email. Remember, don't slack off. If you said you were going to give them five articles a week for five weeks, you better give them all they expect. If not, you risk not only losing subscribers, but customers as well, and the anger that can accompany their leaving, such as a negative social media buzz. A lot of posting frequency has to do with what people expect from your industry. A retailer might have something interesting to say every week, while a CPA might go for a monthly reminder of what to do this month type of posting. Can't think of what to write? Here are a few ideas to get you started. Do you sell products? Why not have articles comparing different makes or models of your products? Review one of the products you sell. Perhaps you sell a very expensive hair dryer. Write an article that supports the reason it costs more than its rivals. This can have the added benefit of possibly increasing the sales numbers of the product as well. Do an interview or a question and answer session with one of your vendors. You can distill the information that your vendor gives you into a solid article or two. This can also possibly help sell more of their products. Do you sell some goods or services that are highly complicated to use? Write a helpful article or perhaps a series of articles to help your visitor use your product. Make sure to write articles on new products or product lines to help introduce the new items to your website visitor.
Twitter's up to date by writing about any news or government policy changes that may affect your industry. Finally, be careful when including opinion, politics, religion, and other items that may offend or put off some of your customers, unless, of course, opinion, politics, and religion is your business. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to stop by our site to pick up the checklist for the video, which includes more information and resources. Thank you.